Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I made a video. Thanks again for joining me here. And I'm going to show you guys one of my most favorite units from the GDI faction, and it is the Mammoth Tank. Now, my Mammoth Tank is actually quite under leveled for the higher ranks, as it's only at level 6. But being one of the strongest units in the game, along with the Avatar, the level doesn't really matter too much because the Mammoth Tank, if you can get it out, you're in a very, very good situation. Uh, now, what I do in this game is I start off with the War Dogs because I like using my War Factory units with this Mammoth Tank build as what I always try to do is to kill the enemy Harvester. Killing the enemy Harvester will allow me to build a tech lab quick and that's going to allow me to speed up the process in pumping out one of the most expensive units in the game, the Mammoth Tank. The Mammoth Tank also synergizes well with Colonel Jackson as Colonel Jackson's speed up ability will make the Mammoth Tank speed into average. Um, and that will allow you to roll over enemy infantry units with the speed up boost as its speed without the without that boost is very slow so you have a harder time catching up to enemy infantry units anyways i see that he's going for double harvesters here and this is a golden chance god given chance for me to boost up my pred tank up to the north even though i lose the first missile here as he beats me in the infantry fight here i'm able to chase down one of his harvesters to the top with my tanks i roll out another tank his tanks are one of the best units to kill harvesters with uh, he does a nice block here saving his harvester here with his laser squad what i really want to do is get that tech lab up as quick as i can i roll down two tanks down here with my rifleman supporting and he fires a missile with colonel jackson boosted on my predator tank i dodge that second missile coming from my opponent's side two harvesters immediately die i pop them 200 crystals and boom, a Mammoth Tank is already out on my side, rolling out. And this unit is super cool, super cool to look at and super cool to use as well. I love using this unit. And when you boost it up with Colonel Jackson, it's pretty fast. And he's got cam bugs. He has no idea the Mammoth Tank is out. But at this point, he sees it and surprise. The power of the Mammoth Tank, its main gun turret, does so much damage to ground vehicle units. And if you can roll over enemy infantry units, it's a really good unit to use. Um, it's only biggest weakness I would say is the uh, air units of course although it has anti-air capabilities its anti-air weapon is really not that good but as you guys can see I killed a ton of his harvesters this game and I've, I've got a second mammoth tank rolling and if you have like two or even three of these units you pretty much want the game um, and there still isn't that many opponents using air units anyway so I'm not really feeling threatened and as you guys see he's got double triple laser squads here and um, I boost one of my tanks to the south, but you can see the top tank is rolling over his infantry units even without the speed boost because he's trying to kill my mammoth tank to the south. He's got to deal with two massive beasts here and it's just not looking good for him. Notice how his economy is constantly torn apart by me. He doesn't have an economy going and my mammoth tank killed so many of his laser squads just by rolling over detail and that's really what i like about these units they're so cool super fun to use and you can make games dominant look at that two laser squads immediately crushed as they were on the same tile and they walked right into my uh, mammoth tank so once you stop the economy you really can't pump out good units to deal with these tanks and there we go guys i actually had four mammoth tanks coming out this game super fun game super fun unit to use and definitely a game winning unit. Alright guys, this will be the second game and we're going to have a mirror matchup. Colonel Jackson versus Jackson here once again guys. And I'm going to go for a Harvester. He goes right into the War Dogs as you guys see. And I don't see this of course at this point. But he decides to build that unit to scout me. He wasn't going to pit bull rush me or anything like that. I had Rhinos this game. And Rhinos is something that I don't really use too much, but anyways, I bring it in this unit composition. I see that he's got the War Dogs, and we just kind of start duking it out here in the middle of the battlefield. Once again, guys, I'm really trying to kill his Harvester and pump out a Predator Tank as quick as I can. I see that Pitbull coming out from his side, so of course, instead of pumping out a Pitbull, which is uh, at level 9 from my side, that's going to lose against his level 10 Pitbulls, a Predator Tank would be a much better choice. Now he's got a Missile Squad rolling out, though, and I don't really have very strong anti-infantry units here except for the rhinos so the only way i'm going to beat those missile squads is by using rhinos now the missile is almost done and i pump out two tanks 
and unfortunately he's gonna get the missile here and uh, he's gonna get the first one here but it's not really a big deal for me like I said I, I don't mind going to the late game because if I can kill a couple harvesters one or two here I can get a mammoth tank up and once I get one or two of those units I can definitely start dominating the battlefield so I take out this harvester immediately here snipe it with two of my predator tanks I do have the predator tank level advantage here but he does have missile squads to support his tank so he's gonna take out one of my tanks here on the top I do bring the wolverines with this unit composition however so what I do is first build a wolverine instead of mammoth tanks I could have went for a mammoth tank but Mammoth tanks are 230 crystals, so I didn't have enough uh, money to uh, pump one out. And I immediately kill two missile squads, and his weakened tank does go down to my Wolverine here. I boost another tank up, and I'm going to try to uh, snipe the Harvester once again, guys. Because if I can kill one more Harvester here, it's going to allow me to uh, pump out a tank much faster. Because right now, I'm kind of still on the low here, so I build a couple more tanks here. As, of course, I can't lose the game. If, if I uh, if I just end up sitting here trying to um, save up crystals for the mammoth tank, I may end up losing the game. So that's something I want to avoid as best as I can. I build a couple more rhinos here, and I see that you know he had like a like a war dog on the top. So I, I bring one rhino to the top, one rhino to the bottom, to and and one wolverine in the middle because I see he has a lot of missile squads. Missiles almost done, so I have to still stay in the game. I'm still not able to pump out uh, a mammoth tank as uh, of course. I have to save this missile. I will lose the game if I don't. So this, these are one of those situations where you do have to build other units than the mammoth tank. You don't want to just sit there and save crystals uh, because 230 crystals is a lot of crystals. So I do secure the first missile here. Game is prolonged. And you can see now I'm saving up towards that 230. And I'm trying to kill more of his harvesters here. And boom, a mammoth tank is coming out. He doesn't see this yet. But soon he will be surprised by the mag mighty mammoth tank. I boosted up with Colonel Jackson. Roll through both of those missile squads, kill that predator tank, and all these tanks are gonna be absolutely no match against this unit. And uh, it, the mammoth tank sometimes is a is a surprise factor almost. Not many players use this unit, so you don't expect to see it too much, except for maybe a couple Doctor Liang compositions. But as you guys can see, this one single mammoth tank single-handedly rolled over and killed every single unit on his side. Boosts up with Colonel Jackson and makes it super duper useful. And I take another win here. Alright guys, and this is the final game I want to share with you guys. It's against a not opponent this time using Commander Kane. And once again, it's the same kind of idea. I got the Wolverine Rhino Army. What I want to do is kill a Harvester or two as quick as I can while prolonging the game so I can build a mammoth tank or two. He goes for scarabs. And I'm gonna go for a pit bull first instead of a, a rhino because I was thinking he was gonna start off with a war factory opening. There are a lot of nod players using the nod, uh, nod war factory opening of course with those uh, cyber wheels of course. But instead he goes for scarabs and I try to kill his harvester here. And pit bulls are relatively good against scarabs just because scarabs uh, can't really catch up to these fast moving units but he tries to corner me here with the bike. I try to do as much damage as I can. In the meantime, I got two launch pads secured because, of course, what a lot of Scarab players like to do, if you're not careful, is they like to send these little bugs to the launch pad and then they just sit there until your unit comes and they blow up, of course, and that's going to, uh, you know, be a problem for you. But anyways, he builds a bunch of bikes. I boost up my tank here because I know that Harvester is almost dead on his side. My people did a lot of damage and I'm just going to run it through right by, kill a bike or two, kill a couple Harvesters. I did some damage and missiles almost done here. He does take care of my Rhino. So once again, I lose the first missile. I kill a Harvester, but you know, I'm fine with this. And every all, on all of these games, I try to get my mana tank out. I'm going to have to lose the first missile most of the times. I don't necessarily have to, but I don't mind because you know what? I killed one Harvester here. I got a tech lab up. And if I kill the second Harvester here, which is almost dead on his side, and he does protect it well with his laser squad. So I don't get it. Uh, I get one Wolverine up as he has a bunch of laser squads, and this is why the Wolverines are so good. They're pretty cheap to build, and they will pretty much wreck any infantry units like the laser squads. And that's what a lot of your opponents go for when he sees a lot of tanks, a lot of pit bulls, a lot of rhinos. I boost on my pit bull, and it just dodges all those bugs and laser squads, kill another harvester, and I'm almost at 230 crystals. What does that mean? It is mammoth tank time, boys. Time to crush some souls with those gigantic tracks. 
Gotta love these Mammoth Tanks, man. Definitely one of my fa most favorite units in the game. When you're crushing souls with this unit, you crush all hope from your opponent's side. He has no idea I've got a Mammoth Tank. And he sees this crazy fast tank coming onto his Harvester. He decides to go, to go for a Double Harvester. As, he, as you guys can see, he's got some very expensive units like the Flame Tank and Cyborg. And of course, Kane's Commander Hero Power. It's not cheap. It's 140 Crystal um, Hero Power. And he drops a tower in the middle. And it, that's going to zap my Wolverine. But I got a second tank coming out. And one of my tanks is starting to attack his base. And Mammoth tanks are relatively good at, good at handling against, uh, you know, base rushes. They do a lot of damage to bases. And that tower is going to pretty much two-shot my Mammoth tank here. But uh, I take it out with my tank and my Wolverine. I guess it would have been a three-shot to my uh, tank. And look at how many bugs just sacrificed their life for Kane. Trying to take down that single Mammoth tank. And everything just goes down, and uh, none of my mammoth tanks actually end up dying <laughs> because they're so beast. They're so good once you get them out, and uh, they, they win you so many games if your opponent is not prepared. Um, their biggest weakness, once again, are air units just like the Avatar. Uh, but, you know, there are a lot of players still not using that many air units in their composition anyways. So there really wasn't anything for me to be worried about in these games. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about these soul-crushing tanks because I absolutely love using these units against my opponents. And once you get one or two of them out, it's so fun to destroy everything on the battlefield. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.